A key word for education this coming year is flexibility. Uh, we will need to be flexible based upon the facts on the ground at that particular time. Governor Abbott earlier this evening suggesting that TEA's plan may be considered preliminary and that schools should adjust to the most current developments as we get closer to the fall. By the numbers now, Southeast Texas has seen an unprecedented surge in new COVID cases. We've also set records for hospitalizations. I want to start with this graph. Tuesday, we saw 286 new cases for our region, the highest since we've been tracking the numbers going all the way back to March. So by far the worst day for our area and the curve that we've all been trying to flatten. It's rapidly rising. So on the big board, here's that record number again, 127 of the cases in Jefferson County and 28 of them for the city of Port Arthur, but no local deaths on Tuesday. And as we've been saying, Texas reported more than 10,000 cases, the most for a single day. And a record number of Southeast Texas families have loved ones really hurting from this virus. Look at this. We had 76 COVID patients in general rooms Monday. That spiked to 104 on Tuesday. That's way above the 56 uh, average that we've been running for the past two weeks. And you see down here in the ICU, we actually dropped a couple of numbers uh, from Monday to Tuesday. That is good, but it's also way above what we've been averaging.